Alright guys, a couple of people will be asking about my sound card right here, especially Rowan, get some video up of it. Right, start with the software that you get with it, right? Uh, it comes with a nice little slide out bar thing down the bottom here. And uh, let's go from the front. Got a nice easy to use mixer. They've got the volume and the wave and everything, what to record from. And in advanced you get each individual speaker level, front, left, right, centre, rear, really left, right, subwoofer. Really nice, easy to use. Love having that. Next thing you get is you get great speaker settings. And from here you can choose whether you are running 2 or 2.1. 4 or 4.1, 5.1 or headphones and then you can synchronize that with the control panel using this little tip box here if you want to or you can select digital output only if you're only using the digital output um, on the front of the optical you got bass management now this is a really handy little tool um, basically if you uh, tick bass redirection then what it does it turns the uh, crossover on the subwoofer channel on and then you can select uh, the crossover frequency all the way from 200 Hertz down to 10 Hertz so you can set your crossover at 10 Hertz that's pretty ridiculous I've got mine set at about 120 at the moment I did have it set on 80 for the uh, L point but the T line slight different response needs about up on 120 so um, I use that for that and also what this does this puts a high pass on the mids so the mids whatever I get this set on the subwoofer will do frequencies below 120 and the mids will do frequencies above 120 so the mids won't go below 120 now and then of course you've got the subwoofer with volume there as well. Um, and then you've got a bass boost. And for me, this only works when I plug in, plug in the headphones. Um, obviously, for some reason. But yeah. So your bass boost usually works for headphones or 2.1 speakers. And that's the rest of that. Uh, something also quite pretty cool, if you watch closely. If I get my mixer up like that. And if I plug my headphones in. This happens on most computers though actually, nowadays to be fair. Put my headphones in, it should go from being 5.1 now down to, yeah there you go, front left right. So now it's now in headphone mode. Unplug the headphones, goes back to being 5.1. Oh you didn't see that. Headphones in, headphones out. There you go. Nice easy settings there. Um, and then the next thing on the list, We've got a sound font manager, like general MIDI basically. Don't really use this much, not too sure what that's about, but it's to do with MIDI if you're using MIDI stuff. Um, equalizer, EQ, nice simple to use. Get the uh, low end from ASU from 1, 2, 5 hertz to 8k hertz. And you've got the preamp there, and you've got presets as usual. Next to that, you got EAX settings, this is all the stuff like the effects and stuff. Um, if you enable the audio effects, you can choose from all the different kind of reverbs for the whole PC, you know, so everything gets sent to the sound card, gets sent through the effects, which I don't like. Now this is good. Right, this changes how your 5.1 sound card is set up. If you have it on CMWS, right, then you get proper 5.1 surround where the rear speakers actually emit a rear sound, like, you know, the kind of rear sounds, as it were. The fronts do the front, centers do the center sound, and the sub does the, does the subsonics, and all that, whatever. If you put it on stereo surround mode, then it basically sends a pretty much identical signal to the front, rear, and center that enables you to run multiple speakers like I'm doing here without actually changing the sound signal because where I haven't got speakers behind me these ones are on the rears and these ones are on the rear thing but the speakers are behind me so it would be silly for them to be emitting rear sounds so I've got it set on the stereo surround there which sounds really nice and you can change that from front to rear focus if you want to do that next to that uh, you've got the um, creative media player which is a player that comes with the sound card I haven't actually used this before, so I don't know if it will load or anything. I don't actually use this, so um, then you've got Wave Studio, which is like a simple Audacity type thing for dealing with web files. You've got uh, Creative Diagnostics for further setting up your surround card, uh, Smart Recorder, and EAX settings. The console, which basically this got karaoke mode. It turns the um, changes the pitch of all the songs and some other options like time scaling, etc. And so there you go from the outside on the front, you got optical out, 
microphone in, headphone out, CMMS button, CM, uh, double S button even. On the back, you got the normal three, three um, outputs, front, rear, and center slash subwoofer, and you got the um, coaxial in, and you got the USB port. And that's pretty much it. And on top, you got a volume, which comes up on the screen down there, and you got a microphone level on the front. So there you go. Sorted.